Time to go to the Miller Lite Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline and welcome back Barry Blank of National Estate Jewelry Buyers in East Brunswick for today's edition of What's It Worth. And good morning, Barry. How you doing? I am wonderful. Little little damp, but yeah, I'm wonderful. A little bit today. We'll be okay with that. Barry, let's talk about another uh, outstanding service that you provide. And then we like to talk once in a while about what you do there as a pawnbroker. And I had a question for you now that we've got this legal sports betting here in New Jersey. Let's say, for example, someone wants to place a bet on a game and they need some quick cash uh, to something. Uh, is that something that someone might bring you something of value for to get some money in the form of a loan to maybe bet on a game or something? Uh, that That's something that could easily happen, right? It could easily happen, and it's something that does happen. I don't recommend borrowing money to, to, to gamble, but hey, I'm just one of those people that doesn't gamble. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, me neither. I know what but, you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But I knew that would be uh, kind of an example. But uh, the definition of a pawnbroker, Barry, talk about what exactly that is that you do. First of all, p- people have this misconception that pawnbrokers only lend to people who, who are down and out and they only exist in bad neighborhoods. And this is a total misconception. Pawnbrokers serve a very integral part of society, and I've been now doing this for three years. And I tell you, you know, if somebody's down and out, you don't have anything to give to loan. You know, especially we only lend on jewelry. We don't lend on blenders and washing machines and chainsaws. Um, but we only lend um, on jewelry, diamonds, watches, and coins. And we don't see, I, I'll change that, we see the people who need a, a, a quick couple of bucks. Mm-hmm. One, two, two, three, four hundred, a thousand and what do I mean by that? It, you know, it's easy for us. There's no credit check. There's nothing to do. You bring us collateral. We decide on how much it's worth um, on the wholesale level, and we give you about 60% of its value in cash. Okay. So it's not – and and I also lend to business owners who are a little short on their on, on payroll or for an expense. Um, you know, it's just what I do. Interesting. Is there a maximum amount of interest, uh, Barry, that you can charge, or is there an interest rate that plays into this? How does that work? Well, you've got to listen carefully, okay? Um, different states are different interest rates, m- different maximum rates. Okay. In New Jersey, and it's 4.5% a month. Now, that is a lot of interest on an annual basis, but if you're looking for $1,000 for one or two months, for one month, it's forty-five dollars. Borrow a thousand dollars. For two months, it's ninety dollars. You know, it's it's when it gets into the bigger, longer time, it gets very expensive. But right. it's a quick, easy, no credit check loan. How long do these loans uh, typically last? Is it uh, a year, uh, eighteen months, two years? Are they all different? The term of the loan is four months. Four months. Okay. Uh, Four months. We don't. Once we loan you the, the, the money, let's say I, I own you. A, I, I loaned you a thousand dollars. If I don't see you in four months, that's fine. Just by the end of the term, you need to come in with your interest payment. If you don't come in with your interest payment, then this is the important part. Mm-hmm. We send out a certified letter, and twenty days from the the uh, uh, the, 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 the stamp on the certified letter is the date that it now becomes our property. Gotcha. So we, we will even make phone calls to try to contact our clients. Right, right. Is there a limit, Barry? What if someone comes in and says, I need a quarter of a million dollars. Can you help me out? Do you have a limit with how much a loan can, there can is, be? There is literally no limit. Wow. Um, there's no limit. We, uh, we have a huge cash backing from a number of different uh, very, very um, afflu- influential people and affluent people uh, and corporations who back who will back my large loans. Okay. Uh, if someone runs into, a, we'll call it the worst-case scenario, where they simply uh, are unable to pay back the loan, what, what's the next step there? Well, it's not, the, does not, the good thing is it does not go against your credit. That's a it's good thing. one of these things. Yeah, yeah you're right. Credit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that it's is a really good thing. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, so, so it doesn't go, go against your credit, and... Nothing bad happens, except you don't get to get your merchandise back. We get to sell it to get back our investment or our loan and the interest that we wouldn't have uh, collected. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's kind of how that works. Uh, there's some, anyone that walks in the door, Barry, do you do a background check, a, a credit check? Uh, do you check a criminal history, uh, check to see if they've got stolen things? There's a, there's a process there, too, but uh, does a credit check happen? No, a credit check does not happen. Um, we don't do background checks. As in purchasing, we report all transactions on the loaning side to the a local police department, and a nationwide reporting service. Oh, is that right? Okay. That is very true. And um, it's, it's, uh, it's done instantly when, we, when you uh, agree to the transaction, whether we're making a loan or whether we're making a purchase, every single uh, transaction is reported. Okay. All right. Uh, what's the process for this? How long does someone typically take uh, to get a loan when they come to see you? You're not sitting there all I'm- afternoon, right? No, I would say it's anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. That's uh, it? it might, that's it. Wow. That's it. You could walk out with ten or $20,000 as long as you have the collateral to, to, uh, to, to, to uh, c- cover the loan. You could probably walk in with a cup of coffee and before you were finished be all set, right? Pretty close. I like that. Pretty close. All right. How about any, uh, do you carry insurance, Barry? Do you have some sort of uh, insurance uh, that you have okay. available, your loan? Yeah, we are insured up to the amount of the loan. Uh, we recommend, and it states this in our loan form, that your homeowner's policy should have a, a, a writer on it for whatever you're loaning, covers the difference between what we're loaning and what it's, what you feel is actually worth or the retail value. Okay. All right. And, and you said you've been doing this for three years, Barry. Has it been kind of a brisk uh, thing for you? Do you have people it's, that have come back more than one time uh, to work with you on this? It's, but I have people coming back with the same watch, with the same Rolex watch. I have a collection of watches I have on loan right now. That's interesting. And wow. this is the third or fourth time he's come in, and he just needs money. One person lent me money because he wanted to buy a – I lent him money because he wanted to buy a cow or a <laughs> – you know, for, for um, genetic reasons. <laughs> okay. All right. And he was doing genetic investments uh, in, 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 in this uh, – I, I guess it was a cow. I don't even know. You really, have, se- you really have seen and heard it all in uh, your years in business, oh, yeah. haven't you? I'm sure you have. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. you have. I really have. You know, there's a, there's a story about a frog that jumps into a bank. And right up to the loan office, I think they told this on the air once before. Uh-huh. And the loan office's name is Patty Mac. And the frog says, I want a loan. And, the, and, the, and Patty Mac says, you can't have a loan. He says, and he throws something down on the table. And the bank manager walks in and he says, give the frog a loan, Patty Mac. Nick, it's a knickknack, Patty Wack. I lost something. It's a knickknack, <laughs> Patty Wack. Give the frog alone. Give the frog Nobody alone. Nobody knew what that thing was that he that he put on the table, so it was a knickknack. Got it. I, I like it. it. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And, of course, remember that Tuesdays, of course, are the free evaluation days at National Estate Jewelry Buyers. You can contact Barry at the store, 732-257-GOLD, or visit topprices4gold.com. The office is at 212 Route 18 in East Brunswick, right next to FedEx office. And as always, uh, house calls available. Do you do anything uh, from the house call perspective with the the, uh, the the pawn business, Barry, or do they have to come to the store for that? Done in the office. I can't do anything. That's a that's a total reporting. Okay. Um, all our transactions are photographed, um, and they must be done in the store. So that can't be a house call sort of thing. Got it. C- cannot. I can right. I can do house calls to purchase. Mm-hmm. I you know and advise. I've walked through estates. I've uh, recommended. Uh, estate sales. I purchased huge, huge bins of costume and gold jewelry and watches, and um, I look forward to many more clients. Being Very there. good, good stuff, Barry. Appreciate it, and uh, thanks for being today here on uh, on What's It Worth. And we'll talk again next Tuesday, my friend. All right, thanks for the great information today. You're welcome.